Hello again. Welcome back to another One Piece chapter reaction and initial thoughts video. Uh, this is chapter 1023, I believe. In the last chapter, we saw the boys. We saw the wings. We saw the wings of the captain take on king and queen. And I think I'd like to see them do that. A collaborative fight. Because we've had uh, Sanji versus Page One and Zoro versus... Uh, Kamaza already. They've already had their 1v1s. So it would be nice to have a 2v2. But we'll have to see. Uh, I'm aware of something that's coming up. Which is that Oda said he was going to uh, do a color spread of the top 50 characters from the character poll. I'm excited for that. <laughs> so I think I have seen a bit of it, but I will. I haven't seen all of it. So. Three, two, one. There it is. Ooh. Oh, Yamato is in the middle. I like that. I very like that. We've got... Right, let's name everyone. Kylo's in the back. Odin. Yamato. Hiori was top 50? See, I've forgotten who's top 50. Uh, wait, is this everyone? No, it's not. How do I... Get over to there because it looks like it's longer. Uh, I can only see a third of it, I think. If I'm missing something, I'll have to figure that out later on. But we'll see what we have. So we've got Odin, Yamato, Kaido, Hiori, Kiku's up there, Reiju, <laughs> Kuma. What's he doing? Kuma, Prona, and Mori. It seems like they're sticking to like what arcs they're from. Is that Kaido, Odin, Yamato together with Fiori? Rage is on her own. Yeah, Big Mum and Katsukuri together. Looks like Katsukuri is using Whitebeard's Devil Fruit. What have I missed? Why does Arm look weird? Got Law, Rosinante, Bartolomeo, Pudding, Mihawk. Uh, Bo Hancock and Doflamingo, and that's it for this part of it. I'll have to, I'll have to look for the other parts because it's not on this website, sadly. It looks like they're on a ship in the ocean. So yeah, looking very nice. Yamato is the best, obviously. <laughs> Let's move on to the review. Of the chapter itself. I don't know anything about this chapter. Which is good. No spoilers this week. Chapter one. <laughs> chapter 1023. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> Sanji and Zora maybe. And well we still have a cover page. Cover request by Ari. Keru gets jealous of a flock of sparrows singing with the... These aren't Kanjiro sparrows are they? <laughs> She in a tree, or was she standing up? She's in a tree. Yeah, she looks well proportioned in this one. Not a stick on a, not a tits on toothpick scenario. And then Carrie's just annoyed at the back. Got some roses on the tree. Waterfall fountain. Yeah, nice cover page. Oh, let's go. Let me just check. I'm recording. Yeah, I am. Anyway, right. standing shoulder to shoulder, Don Lord Jewel is back in action. Go get him, Sangolo Ah, uh, Zoro and Sanji standing together in front of a big explosion. In the, uh, what's the main hall called? I can't remember now. In the main area. This is a uh, nice departure from what we've had before, where it's just loads of fodder fighting. But now it's the two straw hats. The two wings, as I said. Shing! So I've got his uh, bandana on. It really did heal him. I'm afraid to think about what will happen after. He'll be fine. He survived Kuma. 
Von Fairbank. King. Queen. Fuck. Du -du. They're not out of action, surely. So you king and queen on the floor. King looks like he's just taken a rest and queen looked bad. <laughs> Damn. They got onto the floor. Uh, something Zoro couldn't do with Kaido. Only scratch Kaido. But he's got king now. This is a worthy opponent. <laughs> Sniper. How dare you attack the All-Stars in the aims that Zoro said. Oh, Kawamatsu. Kawamatsu comes in to save the day. Drop it. I have a coffee, by the way. Which should pro prolong the reaction. So Kawamatsu comes in with his uh, river sword style, whatever it is. Kapalu. One aiming at Zoro. Who else is it? Forgot. Nasty Darn Kalmets. This is uh I'm forgetting everyone's names. The Archeogora of the Flower. Nasty Darn Kalmets. Everyone, listen up. We can't let anybody interfere with their duel. But boss, they're up against the All Stars. Doesn't matter if you're friend or foe. There's no place for meddling in that fight. He's talking to all the other bosses. Yeah, this is this is a two v two. Don't mess up. Don't mess that up. Just look at the expressions on their faces. We would only get in their way. The shaded eyes. Zoro. That they mean business. What's he got to say in their mouths? These two. Fag or the sword. The markers looking over at the king and queen. They look like they're getting up. I thought only Mary Joa was above the red line. Yoi. Oh, what? We're getting explanation already for this? I thought only Mary Joa was above the red line. Yoi. And he's talking to black, white bitch. I'm talking about the distant past. Back then, God's land was up. God's land. This is something Roger told Whitebeard. God's land. So before Mary Joie. How long has that been there? 800 years? Was this before the, the cleansing? God's land. So God Valley and God's land. Are they different? Are they the same? Was God Valley up there? Part of it? They're actual gods in this series. Oh, uh, stop teasing us. When did you start believing such crap, <laughs> Pops? No, it probably isn't. Probably true. It wouldn't be mentioned otherwise. What happens here? Wake up, Marco! Gulalala. Who's laughing? So what Izo has like done a backflip. Oh, has Izo grabbed Marco to get out of the way? Yeah, because like Marco's kind of daydreaming. I see. Izo has a scar on his arm. Look at that. Wake up, Marco. Who is laughing there? Oh, that's Whitebeard. Still in the flashback speech. I can't do it. Ah, uh, the fodder get done again. What's with you? How can you space out on the battlefield? He's, he's tapped out. He's left it to Zoro and Sanji. He's part of the audio. <laughs> well, I need you to have my back. Shut up. <laughs> Say, Isa. Do you believe in God? You're starting to sound like Pops when he was drunk. <laughs> Uh, I love when I talk about white beard. They always, even though white beard and Ace are dead, they will always pop up again. Everywhere. 
the amount they've been in this arc is mad. So I'm sure when we get the rocks flashback, it might be, be mad as well. You're starting to sound like Pops when he was drunk. All the time then. <laughs> or, also oh, King isn't that big. In the other panel, the last chapter, he looked massive. Yo, if you want to take us down, you're going to have to put your backs into it. That didn't even hurt a bit, surely. The drought, the plague, and the wildfire. The three of us are Kaido San's calamities. They are. Drought doesn't really sound very intimidating. They're quite a bit bigger than the straw hats. Queen's still in his hybrid form. Have we seen King's hybrid form yet? No. Our unstoppable toughness is why they call us all stars. And he's shooting laser beams again. And Sanji and Zoro are dodging. <laughs> you are tough, but are you as tough as Kaido with his scaly skin? I doubt it. I wonder if King has like cybernetics as well. Like Queen. What's wrong? It's just since my second time using the raid suit. Second time? What have I found? Since my second time using the raid suit, I've been feeling kind of off. First time was with page one. When was the second? Did you use it on a Nigashima? Is this the thing anime is going to fill in, or is it just a mistake? He's been feeling kind of off. You're not going to slow me down, are you, says Oil. I said it's nothing. My body just feels a little odd. When did you use it the second time? Since, it's not saying when I use it. It's just since my second time using it. Oh, um, does he use it? Is it the bathhouse scene? That must be it. Right. So since then, he's been feeling off. Is that why he's been, like, is that why he's been captured? Because he's been off the mark. I'll have to see if there's, like, loads of hints now that Sandy's been, like, not up to scratch. Feeling kind of. What happened in the bath scene? Anyway. <laughs> well, you do have weird eyebrows. My body, not my face, doofus. <laughs> Shing! Oh, King gets his sword out. And strikes so. You owe me one. <laughs> Need to you against him. A big sword. You owe me one. What sounds you gonna do? What's he gonna... What's gonna... What's it? Feeling off. Bridal claw. Queen's attack. It's like his cybernetic hand. So it's like. The flame. Why is everything on fire? Every attack has fire in it. Now. I mean, Queen, sure. Zoro so sees this. Now or even. Ah. Uh, Sanji kicks it, dodges it, or blocks it. But he's always behind him. Ah, nice dodge. Fire on fire. With his flaming foot. Yeah, he's on fire. His foot. Well, they are two peas in the pot. They moan at each other, but they uh, save each other's backs on the regular. Or when it's required. Uh, Translate his name. The furry. Oh, this is the next bit. Oh, <laughs> I remember now. All of judges. Oh, yeah. All of judges' brats are enhanced. Which means Sanji must be enhanced somehow. 
cooked. It's always been a thing. I just assumed during the whole Cake Island arc that he wasn't advanced. But he was the son of the judge. So he probably had something in him. And then he didn't come out with anything special. That bastard's crazy. No way. You're saying Diablo Jamba is an augmentation that Judge gave him. The Flaming Lake is what Judge gave him. It would make sense, but then we'd have to explain why Luffy has a red hawk. Because I thought it was just a thing that everyone had that just could create flames. That doesn't explain Luffy's Red Hawk, but it explains Sanji's flaming foot. If it is true. What's the... No. The Furigana used, uses the word cyborg. The Kanji still uses modified human. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't get that. Furigana? What's Furigana? I'm currently learning Japanese, but I haven't heard of that before. I'm learning the Hiragana at the minute. Maybe that's what it means. But I can't see it on that page. I don't know. Hate to break it to you, but I'm a regular human, unlike my siblings. Are you stupid? What kind of human can burst into flames? It's not like you're a lunette. Do not even start on the moons. Is this lunarian, lunar, moon? People from the moons. How much do you know, Queen? So Sanji believes he's human. And that's what we all think. Lunarian. Moon people. I want to go to the moons. Give me moon stuff. Well, King looks... King looks dodgy. It's possible because my passions burn hotter than any real flame ever could. Yes, that's the, that's it. Hmm. He's a passionate man when it comes to women. And he's captain. Lunarian. There's actually a lot to unpack already. <laughs> Cooking up sea beasts is my speciality, you dino bust. <laughs> got like a flaming oil like the one you do all over again I'll show you how devastating my cybernetic cybernetic enhancements can be they're so advanced even Vegapunk can't match them so you saying that SSG is inferior to you Queen are you saying you could rival this thing that has replaced the seven warlords is that what you're saying Cooking up sea beasts. Well, a dinosaur isn't really a sea beast. But I'll catch you drift, Sanji. My boy. <laughs> I want to see Sanji cook more. Obviously not in the heat of battle. <laughs> but, I mean, if he's cooking up Queen now, that counts. Oh. And then Zoro comes for King. Don't get distracted, you black mummy. Interesting insight. Are you saying he's a dead person? Click. King's blade has like it's like this. What was Sasaki's blade like? Was it like an Oscar? I can't remember. Oh no, it's still, it's still Zoro's swords, two of them, and then King just punches him. It doesn't look like it has Haki on it, but... Shit. King just punches Zoro in the skull.
So this is what I'm gonna have to use. A one sort of thing. Let's continue. I get it. You're just a bloodthirsty brute. We still got his sword in his mouth. I've never understood why who I anyone would stick to traditional forms and techniques in a real battle. And he's playing he's playing dirty like a pirate should. Mr. King. Yeah, I guess you have a point. You never claim to be a swordsman after all. Ah, oh, Master King. Have it your way. Just remember, when it comes down to it, I might be willing to bite through your throat. I can't afford to lose it. Can you see? Is that Emma? It must be Emma. Wait, hold on a minute. Whoa, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Did Zora just steal his sword? Like he did with Kamazo. Oh, don't do another one. Oh, don't make me go mad. So, Zoro vs. Kamazo was the precursor to this. And Zoro steals King's sword. Wait, hold on, no. He hasn't. Oh, she's got his sword back. I see. And that looks like Enma. Mm. And King just looks. He's always looking without saying anything. He's a man of few words. Boss your golo. When Hyoli Sama offered that man Enma, there was a reason I didn't protest too hard. She kind of gave it up just willingly, even though it's her father. Right. Uh, I see it too. It's peculiar. He may be a foreign pirate, but he reminds me so much of the former daimyo of Ringa when he was young. He and Shimotsuki Ushimaru are like, ah, those are the two peas in the pod. He and Shimotsuki Ushimaru are like two peas in a pod. Interesting. Right down to their sword handling. It's uncanny. Interesting. Ushimaru-sama was a fantastic swordsman, a direct descendant of the god of the blade, Shimotsuki Ryuma. She's all right. And this young man was the one to finally return Shushui to Wano. It must be fate or something. After all, Ryuma was a one-eyed samurai. He has inherited the will. Zoro has inherited Ryuma's will. Confirmed. Is that why Zoro has one eye? Just to say he's similar to Ryuma. Because he got it after Ryuma was introduced. So if Oda wanted to link Zoro to Ryuma, he'd have to give Zoro one its eye. I see. Mm. And Zoro just attacks King again. King is very big. One sword and two swords up. After all, Yuma, Yuma was a one-eyed samurai. He was indeed that. Is he bleeding now? Anyway. Second. Second floor. Treasure repository. Was this where... This, oh, this is where Ino and Jack are. But was this where the scabbards like, went? And then there was a mysterious figure. We've got to back up Jackson. We're not going to let that happen. Bah! You must be getting tired. I'll pour you... Who is this? I'll pour you to sleep for the Duke of the Day. There's no need to draw this out. I've already forgiven you for lying to me about the sun. Your country's already paid the price for sheltering him. Is his sword wavy? It's got a wavy sword. 
dogs panting. Irony. Jack looks like he's going to swing his trunk round like Zanisha did to him. <laughs> he's learned a thing or two from Zanisha. <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to live with ourselves if we sold Rizo out. Indeed. <laughs> Glass on. Oh, yes. <laughs> cool, bye. Couldn't sell your friend out. I would have made it impossible for us to come back to one hour. Grabs the trunk. <laughs> Everything we went through. Since the day Odin Sama left us, was to get to this point. Has he thrown Jack? Was he like dragging him in the air? Well, it looks like he um, hit the wall. Is he on, is that, is he on top, Beetle? Beetle must be on top. Is that, oh, is that a Shiro Doji on the floor? In the pool of blood? Oh. He must be dead now. I swear to God, I don't know this riser. If he's here, I'll slice open my stomach. Ah, oh, was such a good scene. I bet reading that weekly was peak One Piece. But even the anime made me cry. Riser don't know why. Go put you death. Since that day, 20 years ago, that, I hate those words so much. <laughs> it seems like we've tormented ourselves with the same questions. Are things different now? Jack's on the floor. Do we still have the right to claim to be Odin Sama? Oh, the moon! How? How are you in your Sulong form? Looks up. There's a moon. There's a full moon. Hot in the roof. Is that Asher's? That wasn't Asher's plan. Surely that was coincidence. Because Asher didn't set off the explosion, did he? I should have. Yeah. You see, Inu. Oh, he endured a lot to reach this decisive battle. Our millennial old city was razed to the ground. Raised? R A Z E D. But the dawn of the world is finally upon us. We don't care if we have to lay down our lives to usher it in. Oh, the tension. The hype. The dawn is being mentioned a lot. And the moon. And the Lunarian stuff. He is ready. To end Jack's life. <laughs> Hold on, front entrance. Ah, oh, carrots, thank God. Without Pedro, Luffy and others would never have made it here. Pedal, spell, what? Is he down there? Oh, it echoes there. Uh, where's Carrot? She's not on screen, but we can see her speaking. The raid would have failed for sure. Good old Pedro. Master Nekamamushi. You can see wandering cat. The full moon is beautiful tonight. Pedro, just pour yourself a drink and watch. You are sit on the form. This is the last moon you gotta will ever see, big tongue. <laughs> Look at the moustache. <laughs> Good Su Long forms. Have you seen Wanda's Su Long form? The moon is bright. The moon is a big theme in this chapter. In part of the dawn. I haven't seen a full. It seems like a weird cloud on the left. It's like a long rectangle, vertical rectangle next to. Necker. 
seems out of place. I don't know. But we are switching back to Lysol and Fukuloju. Fukuloju. Inside the castle, second floor. Ha <laughs> You ghosts are a joke. Odin is dead. And now you serve a glorified child. So you're talking about Lud. How dare you mock the young master. Oh, Momolach. Okay. <laughs> Why is this got his scrolls out again? And the guy's earlobes. <laughs> is he flying with them? He's like airborne with his helicopter earlobes. Everyone needs time to mature. Even us misfits eventually become samurai. We speak. Why not itself will shape Momonosuke Samaya's growth. We won't let it, you take that hope away. There seems to be a lot of like hope uh, speech in this chapter. Like, oh, the dawn will come, we will do well, things are going well. It seems a bit too much. Are they stalling still for Luffy and things? Everyone needs time to mature. Is that foreshadowing in a minute when I'm going to see Mamo look like an adult or something? Maybe. Uh, Udon to Kage Port. Yeah. What? You see the heart pirates. Why is he here? Why is Kaido here? Do we even stand a chance? Where's Kaido down there? Is this Kanjiro again? Uh, whenever a character is not where they're supposed to be. Is it Kanjiro again? <laughs> Probably not. That card's been played. So has Kaido jumped down? It's a long way down. Reveal now. What the f- Oh. oh, straw hat, get back! It's dangerous. Growl. This is Mamanosuke. Oh, is that the one from the uh, the cover spread that people talked about last chapter, a couple of chapters ago? I think it was chapter three hundred and ten. Had a cover spread with Luffy and someone else, and then a dragon, pink dragon. I said that would be more than Oscar. It looks similar. It looks similar to Kaido, if I'm honest. Is that all dragons of the. I mean, this fruit was modelled on Kaido. <laughs> oh, yay, obviously. It looks. Oh. Hmm. I like. You know, but she's like, honestly, my adult form. <laughs> Luffy just looks at him. I am not your snack. If you attempt to eat me, I will devour you whole. Brace yourself, <laughs> Mama. That's right. I wonder what his voice is going to be like. It's just going to be that high-pitched moment voice. I did not expect him. To be that big. He's got flames. <laughs> That's right. What? The kid was just here. The was just here. How in the world? I followed my Monosuke Sama's orders. I aged him until he was 28. Why are you crying, Shinobu? He's still there. <laughs> Is that Hiori's age? Seems like it. Didn't know you could do that. Why are you crying? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Why are you crying? Because, Momonosuke, you look just like... Odin. <laughs> oh, when we get that reveal. Oh. Momo, let's go take back Wano. Yes. Ah, oh, the hype! 
Oh. That's going to be an emotional chapter <laughs> when we see Mom not screen. Probably be after the fight. He'll probably stay in that form. Until Kylo's defeated. Shit. This is the end game now. The end game of the why not end game. And the no break for another two weeks. We'll probably get up there and then have a break. Damn. So what else could happen? I guess our king and queen will go down and we'll get up there. Bloody hell. A jam packed chapter. Are there any colour splits? One of uh, Sanji hitting Queen. Interesting. Lunarian. That's so interesting. Is that an L's that the people an L saw on the moons? Or are there other people on other moons? I mean, the theories go mad. Or, oh, colour page of Ryuma. Seeing has black hair. Hmm. I've seen him before with black hair colour. Oh, it looks like dark green, maybe. There's a few colour pages. Whoa. And then the colour page of Jack and Enid. With Jack's weird sword. I don't know if we've seen before. Shout out to PR Mass. And Grish. Yeah, Grish does a lot of them on Twitter. And then the colour page of Momo, of course. Shout outs to Woden Creative. Oh, that's going to be him, isn't it? gonna be yeah it's gonna be pink body and maybe yellow flames damn the lighting but I have to try and find um the top 50 character things it's not but I'm sure it's great I mean the top chapters Momo no scary the saviour of Wana, I'm sure. Yeah, when Kylo sees that, flashback. But I don't know why it would cause a flashback, if I'm honest. But I'm sure we're getting one when they get out there. Uh, Mark up, go up there. Roger's base is Momotaro Fury. With the pheasant, the dog, the monkey and the dragon. Is Alkiji going to show up to be the pheasant? Kiji means the pheasant. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. That was a great chapter. I would say 9 out of 10. Yeah, a good 9 out of 10 chapter. There's a lot of good moments. Seems like there's a lot, like a lot of good moments in this chapter. But it's probably still 17 pages long. So, um, yeah. I thank you for watching, if you did watch it. Uh, be sure to like the video, dislike the video. Tell me what you thought in the comments, what you thought about the chapter. Any theories on the Lunarian stuff, or the moon and the dawn, or what Momonosuke is going to do next. Uh, let me know. And uh, I'll see you in the next review. Take care.